organization have said there's no justification for the deliberate killings of civilians and hostage taking uh, after this weekend's attack. But you also say these events may keep happening if human rights are disregarded. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is the bloodshed you know, did not start yesterday. We need to be unequivocal that hostage taking, deliberate killings of civilians are heinous crimes that have no justification. Um, so I think we need to say that outright. But I think there has been a perception that this is something that began yesterday. And there, is, there hasn't really been a recognition that Palestinians in Gaza have been, as your colleagues noted a minute ago, have been living under a closure for more than 16 years, including a generalized ban on travel. So 2.2 million people um, unlawfully caged in a 25 by 7 mile territory, not able to leave outside of narrow exemptions. And of course, many of the, the majority of the population are themselves refugees, generations of refugees not able to return to their homes. They've been under an occupation for more than 50 years. There have been rounds of escalations that have wiped out entire families, reduced residential buildings into rubble. So the idea is to understand that uh, you know that there is a context that what happened for of course Israeli families is unprecedented. It is awful. It is it is not justified by by any context. Palestinians have also been facing unspeakable bloodshed and crimes that go back not days and weeks or months and not even years but decades. Now we're seeing new Israeli attacks in Gaza right now, and Israel has cut gas, electricity, and water there. So what's it like right now in Gaza? The situation in Gaza is harrowing. Um, you know, you have families going to sleep soon that aren't sure if they're going to see the sun again because these strikes, there's nowhere to flee. There are no shelters. There's nowhere you can go. Uh, families have a few hours of electricity a day. Uh, we regularly hear the terror. You know, um, we, when we talk to people in Gaza, you hear the bombs going off in the background. We see images uh, on the screen of, of, of that. And, you know, you, you know that you could be targeted at any time, anywhere where many families have their life possessions in a suitcase, knowing that they might have only a couple of minutes to um, you know, survive an airstrike, um, electricity, water, food. You have to understand that Israel maintains control over virtually every aspect of everyday life. And the statements, including today, coming out of the defense minister saying, I mean, that is a call to commit a war crime, to say that no food, no water, no electricity. This is a strategy to starve the population. It is unlawful, and it is a reminder of why the International Criminal Court should accelerate their uh, investigation into serious crimes being committed. Palestinians face the reality of apartheid, of persecution. That needs to end, and there needs to be accountability for abuses by uh, all parties here.